doesn't look good. This is gonna be a the radio on the ground. Just, right, just kidding, Peter. I believe in you. I need to, I need to supply the airplane. Yeah. Oh, you're good, man. Right there. Anybody else? Wanna... <laughs> Climb on, Peter. Who wants, to buy the <laughs> Who wants to grab the nose? Anybody? Watch those profits all. Put the tail down. Put the tail down. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Well, uh, ask Peter. Nah, he looks good. <laughs> he looks good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just don't want to grab it. I understand. Oh, that's a great effort. Snow <laughs> Got it. Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. And I'm Peter. And uh, Peter, you have a crazy obsession with building things that don't normally look like airplanes, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I'd say that's the uh, magic about flight tests, is making weird things that just don't really necessarily belong in the air happen. And ever since we've been fortunate enough to work with Peter, he's taken this to a whole nother level. We've made blenders fly and chickens fly and stuff like that. Cinder blocks. Cinder blocks. Things like that. But it's all been with pretty conventional stuff. But a, not too long ago, mm -hmm. you came up with the idea to make a circle fly. And that's mm -hmm. not a, an uncommon thing. It's actually a very old concept. Yep. But you brought it back to life, didn't yep. you? Yeah, an annular wing, I okay. think is what they're referred to as. But they do make them and they do fly. So in the beginning, I tried a small concept vehicle just to you know, figure out what it does, how much circle deforms and all that. Has my brother seen this yet? This is what my brother used to ever build in high school. Circles? Oh man, he loves it. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. All right, let's go try it. That's something you can find nanos through. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it flexes. I know, it's like, it's like an old bull plane. <laughs> oh, Alright, who man. wants to fly it? It flies terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Try it, John. It's a circle plane, it's not It's like, it needs to like, hold like left too. Oh, I can't go through the pole. Eric Monroe and I had a rubber band when we let it go, and it did a perfect circle right into English class. <laughs> it disrupted everything. So. That's you really want to try cool. it? Did you make that? No, Peter did. And then we made one, a bigger one. What did you build it out of? Uh, I went to Lowe's and found this foam I used to build airplanes out of. It has like a plastic skin on both sides so it was easy to roll over into a big circle. And what we did, since it's you know a big floppy circle, it wants to deform all the time, I put a strut on the bottom and that would support the two ends. Once I started getting some airflow under, it would take shape and stay a relative circular shape. We actually took it to the Jarrett Indoor and everyone had a chance to fly around there too. Yeah, and, and, and hit it a lot. Yep. Oh! <laughs> and it actually survived. I was dragging a few airplanes along, they would get stuck on the vertical stabilizer and I would get in high alpha mode and just yeah. drag them around like nobody's business. Peter, you wanted to take this up a notch, didn't you? Mm -hmm. At Flight Fest 2015. Actually, I think you told me to take it up a notch. Okay. You, you wanted me but to do this. Here's where he did this it really this cool. This guy does. Rather than building it all by himself, you built mm -hmm. a fuselage here, mm -hmm. but you kept the wings, and then this time you added more motors. Yep. And you made it a group build. What mm -hmm. was that like? I was pretty good. I actually took the lessons I learned from the first one, which is uh, the motors were way down there at the very bottom, which, you know, the, where the thrust line was and where the drag the uh, mm -hmm. where the drag lies on it. It was. It was too low. It was basically pitching up from the dragon circle. You have to get it just right and hold it there and it would fly just fine. But as you saw in the beginning of that video, we almost lost it on takeoff. That was a very sketchy takeoff. I had too much power and it pulled up and it was either punch it, see what happens, or pull the throttle back and just wait for the crash. So I punched it and somehow saved it. Yes. Now this one, how many how many motors did you have on it? We have four motors in this one. Four motors. Yep. And I put the two up higher to counteract the uh, offset, you know, thrust line from it, from the dragon, all that. But that added more weight and caused you some problems, didn't it, on the first launch? On the first launch, yeah, it was pretty hilarious. We were running, and the thing was bouncing up and down, flopping. But the problem is the circle needs to catch air, similar to like a kite or something before it would take shape and then pop up and then fly. So that didn't work. It was pretty hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great it's effort. Snow of foam. <laughs> Got it. It's Got snowing. It. But it was funny watching it, and then all of a sudden there's like the sea of foam bits that just yep. flew they, out. Yeah, of it. the props went into the front of the wing and so chewed up a little bit. So, how do you fix it? 
Uh, what we did is we took it back in the, in the uh, hangar, and I uh, had a bunch of volunteers. I think Mike was one of them. Mike was a really big help in this, if you're out there. Thanks. It was excellent and awesome. But we braced it with some yardsticks to keep the circle into more, more circular shape, since it's really heavy and, you know, this stuff doesn't really scale all that well. So yeah. then we had to figure out a new way to launch it, because the running was all bouncing and whatnot. So we decided to put it on the back of uh, John's UTV, and we ran it down the runway and just hoped for the best. <laughs> That's my smiley face! <laughs> <laughs> you want a fly chance. making it through. I'm going to be the first fly How much room does this thing have to spare? Uh, not much. Wood, the wood's just wood. wood. That's That's you could fit two. Ooh. Oh! We have something named. I won't be the first one, but I might well be the last. How do all the kids get in the I don't want to touch it. Please! Please! One more person in the back. I need you to launch me. Peter, you want this? No, I'm going to fly from that. Okay, everyone, if you haven't noticed, the circle plane is currently loaded upon a very questionable perch, which is a ATV. So, wish them luck because they're probably going to need it. So. And Peter, no, no pressure. There's just a few hundred people watching, so it's gonna go fine. <laughs> And it almost had it. Oh! Oh! And now attack it until it crashes. That looks amazing. Just in case anyone was wondering, that's what a circle plane looks like. <laughs> through it so far in about 50 miss oh close. and there goes another one Woo. nice job guys I'll do my best to keep it in the air. Come on! We have elevator problems. We have elevator problems. The good news is, no matter what happens, we have more foam.
No, no, runner. Are you going runner? Oh, yeah. I'm I'm pegged to the max elevator though. Oh. That was a lot more fun than the uh, earlier versions that we yep. did. And uh, you added a whole nother eight feet to that length. It only mm -hmm. got it about two feet wider in diameter. So it was big, mm -hmm. but it was still a pretty good yeah. challenge. Still, it's still a challenge, but for the FPV guys, as a, a bunch of them that were there, they were just hauling through that thing, oh doing gosh. flips and stuff and everything. But as far as the line of sight guys, I think only a handful of them made it through. Yeah. Well, well a Delta came and smashed the side, took half of it off. And I couldn't believe that. It kept flying. I couldn't believe, honestly, it kept flying. It took, what, three hits before it finally went mm -hmm. down. Yep. What, what finally brought it down? Uh, um, I'd be crazy was there, uh, Alex. Yeah. He had his uh, his awesome race try, but he he was turning around or something like that, and then he came back looking for me, but he was going fast while he did while he did it, and then he slammed right into one of the struts that was holding the uh, you know the circular shape. Yeah. Once once when the struts let go, the circular shape turned into like a big like really stretch zero okay and since it already had a tear in it it just kind of ripped the rest of it off and the whole thing came apart and i was like it's going in so let's push it over to make the crash more spectacular so i sped up the two top motors and just it, did, it didn't look that bad i mean it was definitely damaged mm -hmm. but all the kids just went flooding out there mm -hmm. as quick as it hit man they were just gone yeah and uh when one of them was out there they asked you a question mm -hmm. about taking a piece home right yep they said can i have a chunk of this wing i was like Sure, why not? I'm not gonna do anything with this. And uh, I didn't really expect the YC next because all the other kids took wind of that and brought it down like a bunch of little- It looked, it like, looked like you put it through mm, a wood chipper. Yeah, it, it was, was like, like, it was like a, a zebra being eaten by a bunch of uh, <laughs> hyenas or something. Cause the whole thing just came down and just, they just ripped it to shreds and all ran off in chunks. Like I got the tail. Right now, reap the motors. Do not reap the wire, don't reap the wire, don't reap the wireless. I love what you did with it, man. You, you made it bigger, but you also added lasers in it. Mm -hmm. uh, you had a, a mirror spinning that would mm -hmm. actually uh, project, project the laser. The laser. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, after the first hit, that yeah. turned the laser off. Yeah, the, it was like lightly put in there, so I, it was like all thrown together. So some guy hit right just right on the laser and pulled yeah. the battery out. But it was still a really cool concept. And one thing you want to do is you want to keep on pursuing this. Maybe when we have some big events, mm -hmm. bring out a circle plane because <laughs> flying through gates is fun, and, and I'm not diminishing that at all. Mm -hmm. But flying through something that's flying. Is pretty. It's pretty case. crazy. Yeah. That might and be a square plane though. Maybe a square plane next time. Easier mm -hmm. to fold up, right? Yeah, easier to fold up and easier to build the spars and it's less floopy flop. Well, there you go. We'll try that in our next event. Mm -hmm. One thing that was really crazy was mm -hmm. how many people were filming this, either from their multi rotors, from their airplanes, mm -hmm. and also from the ground. So if you guys have any really cool footage from Flight Fest, make sure you upload it on YouTube and uh, tag it as Flight Fest. Our friends, I want to thank you for watching. Peter, great job on that, and also great job in having the kids help you finish out the project. Good job on that. If you want to see more stuff like this, let us know, and we'll see you next time. You can, you can fix that.